Hey, hi guys, welcome to Cafe IO. Thank you for joining in. Today we are going to be talking about AWS SageMaker. AWS SageMaker is a service which can enable you to build, train, and deploy machine learning applications on the cloud. It is a proprietary and a platform as a service offering by AWS, and it can be used by various types of users like business analysts, data scientists, MLOps, and GD. A lot of use cases around or designing visual interfaces can be done by business analysts in AWS SageMaker, or if you're a citizen data scientist who plays with data day in and day out and models, you can use the SageMaker Studio. For MLOps engineers, it offers a lot of extensive tooling to support creation of deployments, generation of API, and observing the machine learning and data pipe. It is an extremely accessible service. It is built natively on top of AWS ecosystem. So it offers very nice integration with anything in AWS systems, for example, C buckets, RDS databases, and things like that. It enables a lot of high performance compute because underlying AWS SageMaker, you can utilize different compute engines. You can use GPU instances. You can spin down your machine. You can create on-demand infrastructure. So effectively, it does leads to a, a lot of productivity boosts and uh, the TCO is also lower. There are certain interesting services. For example, it enables automated data labeling. So uh, you can save up to 40% reduction in time when it comes to data labeling costs. And uh, it supports a wide variety of framework and toolings. For example, it is built on Jupyter, there's TensorFlow, PyTorch, MXNet, you can use SkyKitLearn or any of the Hugging Faces library. Needless to say, Python is available as a standard uh, programming language on AWS SageMaker 2. You can collect and prepare your data. You can build your pipelines. You can do training and hyperparameter tuning jobs. And finally, you can deploy. There are different kinds of interfaces available. The overall interface is extremely easy. And you can get into more purpose-based built interfaces like Canvas, which is more of a visual designer and will Look at that uh, in the next video. Alternatively, you can look to AWS SageMaker Studio, which is an all-inclusive Jupyter, which will enable you to work in a very similar uh, kind of a setup. You can connect to all kinds of data stores, for example, S3 buckets, RDS databases, and they can become your primary source. You can have feature stores, which can be a purpose-built feature store for ML serving features in both in real time and in batch. There's automated data labeling. There's a service called as Amazon SageMaker Ground Truth, which can make your life relatively easy when you uh, want to label data. And this could come a lot handy in vision or NLP use cases. Around model creation, there's a lot of built-in algorithms, uh, which you can just use out of the box. You have one-click Jupyter notebooks, and uh, there's a lot of auto ML features also available. For example, there's a service which is called AWS SageMaker Autopilot, which is going to automatically build, train, and tune the machine learning lifecycle. So overall, it is an extremely intuitive interface. It enables a very deep SDK integration in Jupyter Notebooks, which you can use for a wide variety of applications and effectively utilize your overall development time you can, it can lead to a reduction in the development time, I would say. So if you want to save cost, you can utilize AWS Spot instances and that will enable you to train on machines which are probably lying around in data centers. Though their availability is not guaranteed, uh, they can be shut down in case of any severe demands. But for all general purpose computing, specifically in development environment and the on-demand nature of machine learning, it could lead to a significantly high cost reduction when it comes to machine learning training. You can employ strategies such as check model saves and checkpoints to be more clear with your process and avoid any sort of training losses in terms of if your computer is killed. However, it can be an extremely efficient tool to save money in your machine learning training life cycles. Let's move on to see the interface. So this is how AWS SageMaker looks. This is, this is my personal account. And on dashboard, you have all different kinds of services available. So it offers three services, a uh, regular studio, which is the SageMaker studio, the R studio, which works with R, and then the canvas, which is designed to be more visual in nature. There are a lot of services on, on the side. You have ground truth, you have notebook, 
We have processing, training, inferencing, edge manager, augmented AI, and marketplace. What you simply need to do is once you get on to AWS interface and you've logged on and started with SageMaker, you can just go to studio and uh, you can have a SageMaker studio set up. Now, once you click on this, it's going to give you a SageMaker studio ready to use instance. And uh, these are all the settings associated with that. Canvas is something similar. You can launch the canvas. You can launch the canvas app and uh, it's going to open the visual interface, which enables a lot of easy drag and drop and uh, interactive machine learning on cloud. So in the next video, we will be focusing on the overall interface and uh, we will look at how these services work. We'll start by taking a project and a sample notebook and we'll try to build a machine learning model live and we'll also deploy it uh, over a REST endpoint. Thank you for watching. If you liked my content, please do share and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.